Hello my lovely friends! My name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romance books that deal with celebrities. I actually don't like celebrity romances. <laughs> like that is one of the things that really really puts me off from a book. These are my favorites that I have read and normally I don't know that they're celebrities kind of like going into it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but what I like out of a celebrity romance is the more subtle, the better. I don't like the famous paparazzi spotlight, no. And so these are celebrity romances, but the celebrity parts in here are barely mentioned. So if you're like me and don't like celebrity romances because of the celebrity aspect, possibly pick these ones up because the celebrity part in here is barely in these books. Or the celebrity romance part in here just didn't bother me all that much. First, I have Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. This is the romance between Marcus and April. Marcus is the celebrity in here. He's actually a famous actor on this very, very popular TV show, essentially like Game of Thrones. Um, and April is a fan fiction writer and she's also a cosplayer. And so she decides to cosplay as one of the characters on this Game of Thrones-esque TV show. She posts it on Twitter and she gets bullied from people who are fat phobic. Marcus sees the picture on Twitter. He thinks she looks beautiful. And so to kind of like say, screw you to the bullies or whatever, he asks her out on a date. And so April and Marcus go on a date and they end up dating each other. But little do they know, they've actually been online friends for quite a long time and they don't know it. So they're both fan fiction writers for this TV show. Marcus doesn't tell anybody that he's a fan fiction writer because he doesn't necessarily like how the show has been taking his character and some of the other characters in the show so he decides to make fan fiction about it and if anyone found out about it he'd be in a lot of trouble and so the two of them have been fan fiction online best friends for quite a while they read each other's fanfics and yeah the two of them fall in love um i liked this because the celebrity aspect in here wasn't too much for me like i feel like this is the most that it could go like for the threshold for me anything more i would hate it <laughs> So I really enjoyed this one. You also have dyslexia rep in here. Marcus has been judged a lot by his parents and by other people because of his dyslexia. Um, so I really love that representation because you don't see that a lot in romance books. So I really enjoyed this one and I really recommend it. Next, I have A Touch of Darkness by Scarlet St. Clair. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling. <laughs> I love, I adore Hades and Persephone retellings. So Hades is very famous, kind of like everywhere, kind of like known as the bad guy. Like you steer clear of him, he owns this gambling empire that everybody knows about. And Persephone by some means ends up getting in a contract with him and having to pay him back. The celebrity aspect in here is very low key, which is something I like. That's all I'm gonna say about this because I feel like anything else could be like spoilery for you, but it's a great uh, Hayes and Persephone retelling. Next I have Pucked by Helena Hunting. This is a hockey romance. Our hero in here, Alex, is a very famous hockey player, so. That's the celebrity part in here. Um, he ends up falling for one of his teammates' stepsisters named Violet. And yeah, they have like a one night stand that turns into more romance. And this was just hilarious. If you want a good laugh, this book is a great book to laugh to. I think all the books are, they're just so funny. But for sports romance, sometimes you don't get to like see the celebrity aspect in some sports romances because sometimes they're not really all that famous where this team in here is very much famous. They have to deal with press and um, talking and interviews and stuff like that on TV. So um, there's some aspects like that in these books, which I didn't feel like was too much for me. Like, like I love more so of a character, characters falling for each other. I don't like when the media comes in and ruins it. That's something I hate about celebrity romances when the media comes in and ruins a relationship. That's what pisses me off, I think. So <laughs> that wasn't in here, which I liked. Next, I have The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. This is a celebrity romance more in the fact that our hero is a royal prince and our heroine is just a woman from America. Um, and they meet each other in college and the rest goes from there. They end up falling for each other. This is the romance inspired by William and Kate. So there, there are some parallels to the William and Kate story. The celebrity part in here was a little too much for me. Like I wish that was taken out of the book, but I understand why it was in it. It's cause he's a freaking crown prince. So I understand, but yeah, there's a lot of paparazzi and a lot of media coming and butting into their lives. So um, I didn't necessarily love that part of the book, but I understand the necessity for it in the book. Next, I have The Full Tilt Duet by Emma Scott. 
first book is full tilt and the second book is all in you need to read the two books together in order to get the happily ever after the hea i'll just talk about this one because anything i say about this is a spoiler <laughs> so this one's about casey and jonah casey in here is a very popular singer in a all-girl rock band but she's going through some stuff she's a damaged heroine she's gone through the ringer um she is an alcoholic and um at the end of one of their shows her manager ends up putting her in the back of a limo and says hey take this girl home she can't be out with us anymore she's blackout plastered and so jonah is the limo driver and takes her home realizes nobody's home she doesn't have a key on her all the lights are out he can't bring her into the house and like he's not gonna leave her on the porch blackout drunk and so he's like okay i'll just take her to my house like no one was answering their phones either like he couldn't leave her at the house. He ends up putting her on his couch and sleeping it off. And she wakes up the next morning, utterly horrified that she did this to this guy. And the two of them become very close friends and turns into something more. The celebrity aspect in here was barely mentioned at all. And I loved that. I don't, I honestly also don't like romances where like fans come up. If you're a celebrity and like fans come up and like all your autograph and all that stuff, like I don't know why that gives me a big ick in romance books. Can't stand it. Um, and so, like literally anytime she was out in public like no one ever recognized her no one even cared who she was and the celebrity part in here is kind of like dialed down because she's a celebrity at the beginning and in this rock band and kind of like living out her quote-unquote dream but then she realizes like her dream is killing her she's trying to figure out if this path in life is the right one for her to take because she's starting to realize that the way she's living can kill her so i loved this duology so much so I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> Next, I have a novella for you. We have Burley by Jessica Kane. Now, this isn't one of my favorite Jessica Kane novellas, but it might be yours. So our hero in here is um, best friends with this guy, okay? And this is his romance with his best friend's daughter. The daughter ends up becoming a celebrity, like a pop star or something like that. The hero in here has been watching her, taking care of her, like without her knowing, like kind of like keeping tabs on her. He's lusting after her and she's had a huge crush on him and they end up falling for each other. Um, I like this one, it was okay. I gave it like a three star. It's not my favorite Jessica Kane, like there's better ones, but I did think the celebrity romance part in here didn't really bother me all that much. Then I have two misadventures books for you. The misadventure series is kind of like a hot novella series all written by different authors, starting with like misadventures of the blank, you know? So this is misadventures of the first daughter by Meredith Wilde and Mia Michelle. So this is the romance between Charlotte, who is the president's daughter and one of her bodyguards. I really enjoyed this one. I love a good bodyguard romance. So I've never read one dealing with the president's daughter. So of course I love any bodyguard romance, you know? So I liked this one and the celebrity part in here wasn't really talked about all that much because everyone in America knows who the president's daughter is, right? So. Um, she's a celebrity. People know about her, but it wasn't really harped on all that much, um, which I enjoyed. The two of them had been just logging over each other for quite a bit, long time. And then when they reveal their feelings for one another, it is so stinking cute. I also really liked Misadventures on the Night Shift by Lauren Rowe. So this romance is between Abby and celebrity Lucas Ford. So Abby works on the night shift at this hotel and Lucas Ford is living at this hotel for a little bit while he's working on some songs. Um, like he needed a change of scenery to work on some of his songs. And Abby actually had a childhood crush on uh, Lucas. He's kind of like seen Abby and decides that she's gonna be his muse. And so he asks her to come up on her night shift to come see him so he can write songs kind of like about what they talk about and stuff like that. And of course she didn't expect her childhood crush, celebrity crush to fall in love with her, but he does. Again, I normally hate celebrity romances, but I feel like she did a great job with this. And like the celebrity part in here wasn't really that big to me, except for like him being like a, a musician and stuff like that. Like, again, I hate like the adoring fans, paparazzi crap and celebrity romances. And so that wasn't really in here all that much. The next book that I have is one of my favorites of all time. And the celebrity romance aspect in here is literally minuscule and I love it. <laughs> we have The Silent Waters by Brittany C. Cherry. This book has like kind of like chunks of time. So at the beginning of this book, this heroine is like six or seven um, and her dad ends up remarrying. And so she ends up getting a stepbrother and stepsister and a stepmom. And so her stepbrother has this best friend. And right when she sees him, she's like, you're going to be my future husband. And he's like, ew, gross cooties. No, not going to happen. And so she's like, oh yeah, no, I'm going to marry you. Um, how about we go into the woods and we're going to have our wedding. 
And so he of course doesn't show up. But while she's in the woods planning their quote unquote wedding, she ends up witnessing something she should not have seen. And it is something that sparks her to not speak anymore. She has not spoken since that day. It's years later. She's now like another time jump is when she's like 18. And this guy who was her brother's best friend is also her best friend now. Um, and he's in a band and the band gets quite popular. By the way, this book doesn't isn't about 18 year olds falling in love, it time jumps even farther too. And so they become a famous band. Um, and yeah, it's barely mentioned at all, but I love this so sneaking much. This is an amazing friends to lovers because after the point where like she doesn't speak anymore, she witnesses that thing in the woods, like her and this guy become very close friends and they can't live without the other person. And it is so cute and sweet. If you want an emotional romance, that you will love to the day you die, this is the book you need to read. And lastly, I want to mention American Queen by Sierra Simone. This is actually a MMF romance, so male, male, female. There, it's like kind of like a thruple situation. But this is also a uh, Camelot retelling too, which was very interesting to me. I also have read the other two books in the series. I didn't really care for them all that much. The first book I gave four stars to. I really liked the other two three star or lower, honestly. Um, so I recommend just reading book one <laughs> and pretending the other two don't exist. But the heroine in here, she ends up falling in love with the president of the United States. So that's the celebrity part in here. Another person is in their relationship too, which is his vice president. So it's kind of like a doubly celebrity romance because two, the two guys are celebrities. So, and it's all three of them together. So the guys love each other too. I thought this was a great, romance um i again don't like celebrity romances and the president part in the year was very interesting to read about um and i actually liked it so i really recommend this one and sierra simone's writing is honestly fantastic and so stinking hot so and the cat is crying to leave the room so i have best stop now <laughs> uh those are some celebrity romances for you let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one Bye, y'all.